We wanted to do something totally new, something that we'd never done before. It was great because not many people had done games in this era, and both the era and what it stood for with the uh, black operations, the, the secret wars, the deniable operations, the wars that were sort of under the layer of the Cold War and the black operations was perfect. It fit in with us really wanting to get creative and come up with fresh new gameplay experiences. And playing black ops, these guys, as we met with veterans who are black ops, they are the best of the best and they were entrusted with this very top secret intel as they were given these missions and then they were allowed to sort of outfit themselves as they saw fit to go in and take on these missions and that was I mean as far as games goes you can't ask for a better setup. What we wanted to do was really focus on variety of gameplay and with that setup both the era and black ops and all the different forms of weaponry and the, the different kinds of missions that went on it was the perfect setup for us to create our fiction for our game. We looked at the whole palette of all the different historical conflicts that were occurring in the Cold War, but it wasn't so much just that. We were actually doing research on where black operations would have or might have occurred. We knew that we wanted to create a game with a lot of diversity of environments, so whether it's going to be large open tundra environments or cities or jungles or it, you name it. We wanted to be able to bring that to life in Call of Duty and give the player a variety from level to level. Underneath we crafted a narrative that would span this broad period of time that was this era. We know that people have had a lot of great Call of Duty experiences and you know we took on this game we wanted to make sure that we retain the core essence of, of what was great about Call of Duty but we wanted to give people new experiences. In every level there's going to be something new that they haven't done in prior levels and they're going to be doing multiple things in each level. In one of the levels we demonstrated there was a more deliberate pace, there was a lot more stealth and then we punctuate it with high octane intense sequences like the window breach. You know we bring the player up and down inside of the level and then also between levels the player can expect to have different sequences. We are paying careful attention to what the player's emotions are and what we want you to feel at, at very specific times. 